No! You you don't need this! You don't need these tabletop wooden tiles! You don't need them! You already spend so much money on games? Games? Maybe you have a board game table? Why do you need to be fancy and get more pieces of wood to enjoy your game? Just paint your Kickstarter minis, your 3D minis. Wow. Yeah, video's done, right? Click off. Click off now before you get tempted. <sighs> All right, so you're still here. Okay, so you wanna bring some good wood to your games of Catan and all your other board games. So you wanna get these things called tabletop tiles. So these are just like really good pieces of wood, right? It's just good looking wood. Yeah, sure, they got the wood and grain or solid wood and all that jazz. They're not too heavy, but yeah, I mean, these just last a while, right? These are just wood. To the untrained non-board gaming sane person, that would be correct. These could be nice snack holders or maybe a cool organization for jewelry. Or hey, look, they got some cork underneath, so it's like a glorified coaster, right? But you bring these bad boys to game night, smack them next to your board game, and that's where they can really, really start to shine. You got the single, dual, and triple component holders. Fill them up with those tiny pieces that just get everywhere during games. These are good for your own personal stash during games like Catan, or a communal stash if you don't want pieces mixing around the table during the heat of play. Yeah, I know, really fancy things that could just be replaced by a bowl, but that's why you're here, right? Each of these holders has a nice grooving slope, kind of like on a Moncala board, where all you have to do is put your fingers and gently guide the pieces out of it into your greedy, greedy hands. But besides holding pieces, this card holder is really where these wooden hexagons shine. This is fantastic, so you don't have to go picking up your hand over and over again during games, especially for those more laid back game sessions where you just want your hands to chill. And then if you're like me, you get slightly sweaty hands sometimes, sometimes during really intense games. And these are good to reduce the grime on your unsleeved cards. Or of course, if you suspect that your friends don't have the cleanest hands. And this is where I gotta tell you about the magnets for the tiles, where you just put them together and they connect. Magnets. While this isn't always the most useful for these component dividers, for the card holders, it's really nice because the grooves don't just end at the end of the wood. They keep going. That means if you have a lot of these lined up at once, you can have infinite vertical storage by connecting a lot of these tabletop tiles. To wrap up the selection, we got this dice roller tile, which is kind of like a dice tray to make sure your dice don't go into other pieces while you're playing. Because it has rubber on the bottom, it's gonna mute the sound of dice onto it if you're into that. You may have also seen these little holes on top of the tiles. So that means that you can stack them on top of each other. It's not magnetic, but it is kind of tight and it does get the job done. And you can stack a whole bunch of them like so. So just like board game tables, this is something that you don't need to have. No one in their sane mind needs to have these to play a board game. But as the board gamers we are, we know that need is kind of close to wants. And a good reason to want these over a board game table is that they're super duper portable. You can just pop them inside a game that has some spare space, bring it to your friend's house. Or you can just put them in the side space of your duffel bag to bring anywhere. This is great for those times game night just isn't at your house. Or if you have to play outdoors at the park constantly during a pandemic. And then you also double the wooden tiles as weights on top of the cards so the wind doesn't blow them away. The back, of course, has this coaster where you can put drinks on. For us, the rule is no drinks at the table, so this coaster is gonna be good after the game or if you're just chilling with friends. You probably don't wanna use this coaster before a game though because if it does get wet, you don't wanna flip it over to put it on your wooden table. So besides being super duper fancy and totally unnecessary for you or your wallet, there are some concerns we found with these. First off, the little plastic pegs underneath are hard enough to possibly scratch tables. I'm not sure why these just weren't hard rubber like you would see underneath a laptop, but as it is currently, you gotta be careful about moving them around a wooden surface. 
Then the size factor doesn't work that well for some of the tile variations. This is especially pressing in the Trio one, where it definitely looks like it was designed with Catan in mind, and it does work with it, but just a lot of sticking up at the top. Unless you got some really specific needs, the tight storage for the Trio or maybe the Duo probably won't fit many games. Another one is that the dice roller is a little on the small side. You'll definitely need to get used to the strength of how dice rolling works on it because dice, in our experience, keep popping out. Also, this dice roller doesn't have a coaster underneath and it doesn't connect as well with the others. There's a bit of loose space when connecting it, and this just seems to be because it's a little bigger than the rest. Also, when you use it to stack on top of other pieces, it pops out on its own during some orientations. It must be an issue with the magnets there. But then again, Wormwood guarantees all of its craftsmanship, so there's not too many big concerns about these tiles. If you're looking to pimp out your board gaming experience, I would actually recommend getting these over a board gaming table, assuming that you already have a decently sized table that you play games on, and it works fine as is. These are usable for every game if you even decide to use them and then you don't have to deal with this lowered arena that sometimes causes lower back problems. You don't have to deal with setting up or moving around furniture. There's less moving parts overall and they're portable. They're super portable. You can just bring it with you wherever you go. But before you go head first and just buy some, let's slow down a bit you might want to be careful about buying accessories, especially ones with modular magnetic hexes with free shipping, because there can always be an excuse to just get some more. Actually, that leads us to one of two strategies you can use when getting these tiles. Strategy one, you are the benevolent tabletop tile guy who has all these awesome new wooden pieces. Yeah, man, check out that guy's good wood. He's got the solid grain going on for all of us to use, but Wait, everyone needs some tiles, right? So maybe you should buy more of these for the next game night? He needs something to store his pieces, or she needs a little more organization. Should everyone have at least two tiles for personal use? Oh, and then we need a collection of tiles for the game supply. Well, I can't wait for the next game night where we all have an equal amount of bling. Strategy two. I am the coolest for having these tabletop tiles. Like seriously, I picked these out myself. It's like my identity now. Share? Why would I share my wood I spent my hard-earned money on? You don't see us sharing harmonicas now, do we? <laughs> I know it's not cheating having all my components stored beautifully, but man, I bet you you're jealous, and that's throwing you off your game. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't quite see you complaining over my vertically stored cards. <laughs> And maybe that's why they call buying all these branded accessories joining this Warmwood family, because once you start getting these for yourself, you start to understand why people go hard on collecting these. At the end of it all, we cannot recommend getting these enough if you want to take your board gaming to the next level of fancy. On a personal level, I'm not going to give my score out of 10 because this isn't a game, but I really, really like having these. It's again that whole board game table rationale where if I can have something that dramatically changes how I play every single game, that's pretty, pretty darn cool. And then now I'm fantasizing about my next game night and how cool these are going to be. Takenoko with his three different types of cards you have in your hand? Well, if I had them on this card holder, it'd be so much easier. Like, bam, organized. Look at that. So yeah, I'm very excited, but also concerned for my wallet. It's like after the pandemic, where more multiplayer gaming opens up, Maybe I should get some more copies? Or man, maybe in the future, I can utilize the magnets on these to attach them to a folding chair to save space on a table. Or maybe store these underneath a table with a magnetic bar underneath, and then I can just grab it when I need it for a game. Super easy access. Something something luxuries become necessities. As always, thanks to our patrons for making videos like this possible. We got John S, Manuel G, Brian C, Clifford H, Aaron W, Max B, Bora, Jeremy M, C, Charlie P, Quinton S, Sam S, Travis R, Alvin Y, Vamsi K, Ryan D, Jennifer Alper, M, Matt G, Peter Z, Spinner 71, Brian J, Brad G, Tiamo, Period, Mark A, Nathan C, James M. And we got two mad lads at cardboard, we got ZL and Jeff L, and we got one mad lady, we got Amy. Thanks to all our patrons so much, we got our Patreon link in the description below if you want to take a look.
Just let me know about any videos you'd like to see, any cool accessories I should check out. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye.